Okay, it worked now. That was weird. Ooh. I haven't been keeping up on Black Clover. I should. Why can I not hear this? What's going on? No, I'm not hearing this. There we go. Now I can hear it. It's like, what's the point of doing all these tests if I can't? It just doesn't matter. All right, cool. Oh, and I have a face cam now. What's up? All right, so. I've already played this game before. I've played Golden Deer, played Blue Lions. I still think Golden Deer is great. Blue Lions was interesting. I mean, people like Dimitri and I played it. I didn't like Dimitri. <laughs> I didn't like Dimitri at all. But anyway, I'm gonna do a new game plus for Black Eagles, which is the game with uh, Edelgard's house. Haven't played that one before, so I'll be blind. I played the I played Golden Deer on Hard Classic. You see right here, cleared it on Hard Classic. But for Blue Lions, I had to finish it on Normal Classic, and that's because the last map really got me. So you see, I started the last map on Hard Classic, right? The amount of just trash they threw at me was unbelievable. I was missing 80% hits. They were hitting like 65 hits. They were getting like 5% crits. I was like, what are you doing? Then the, then the boss on that map was just doing some stupid spamming stuff. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna play it on normal for my sanity. And uh, I cleared it. But I was literally, I played the whole game on hard classic except for that. So. I figured I might as well keep that same energy and play hard classic for Black Eagles. You see that I did a couple of battles, but that that doesn't matter. I'm gonna probably delete all this because uh, I think it like kills the game if you keep this on. But anyway, we're gonna do clear game for that. It's my last one. And then we're gonna start hard classic, no internet. And we're gonna just keep going. We're gonna go. We're gonna start it up. But let me mute myself for the cinematic.
call the Red Canyon? You'll die! <laughs> die! Die! You took everything that I loved! All right, then. Still a cool cinematic, if I do say so myself. Still very cool. Oh, my. What could have brought you here? to interrupt a moment of repose <sighs> very rude indeed my bad now come to me I wish to have a look at you <laughs> so I always just I'm gonna play as a female because I don't know this looks better it's cooler um, also if I'm gonna play a game for like a hundred hours I'm just gonna use a female avatar just me. I think a lot more people are starting to uh, get the idea. I have not seen the likes of you before. Who are you anyway? I see. Then you must have a name of sorts. Go on. So for this, I had Mariah for the first time. Then I had Serenity for the second one. I'm trying to think of another one that could be cool. Um, <clears throat> now I'll just do my right again. I'm not coming up with a name. Look, see right there. Boom. Yes. Huh. I shall not ever grow accustomed to the sound of human names. You must possess a day of birth as well. Beneath which moon and on what day were you born to this world? I don't think this really matters. You just like you get a gift. So we're gonna do this. Lone moon. Absolutely. Oh, well, wonders never cease. It seems we share our day of birth. How strange. Hmm. It all feels so familiar. <laughs> I think it may be time for yet another nap. <sighs> Too sleepy. It is almost time to begin. <sighs> so this, please. Oh, was I not? Oh, <laughs> I wasn't supposed to know her name. I mean, like I said, I've already played this game before, but. I haven't played the Black hey, Eagle route. Time to wake up. So a lot of this stuff will just be repeat for me. I'll try and speed again? through it, honestly. Because it's just a prologue. We can just speed through that. I was dreaming about a young girl. Or a You've war. You've described her to me before. I don't think I've ever met anyone like that. In any case, just put that out of your mind for now. The battlefield is no place for idle thoughts. Risking your life is part of the job for mercenaries like us. Letting your mind wander is a sure way to get yourself killed. Okay, time to get moving. Our next job is in the kingdom. I told you before, it's far from here, so we'll need to leave at dawn. Oops. Of course. Hmm? Oh, <coughs> good grief. Everyone is already waiting for us outside. Gerald, sir, sorry to barge in, but your presence is needed. What's happened? Please forgive our intrusion. 
we get off my screen, Dimitri. What do a bunch of kids like you want at this hour? We're being pursued by a group of bandits. I can only hope that you will be so kind as to lend your support. No. Bandits? Here? <laughs> it's true. They attacked us while we were at rest in our camp. Don't know how I feel about We've you yet. From our my boy Claude. They're after our lives. Not to mention our goal. My boy Claude. I'm impressed you're staying so calm considering the situation. I... Wait. That uniform. This is when Gerald knew. Hey, maybe we should just turn around and walk the other way. <laughs> maybe we shouldn't help. We shouldn't help these kids out. <laughs> There's something wrong about them. They may not be the best people to get associated with. Bandit spotted just outside the village. Damn, there were a lot of them. I guess they followed you all the way here. Stupid. We can't abandon this village now. Come on, let's move. Hope you're ready. No, I don't know anything. I can't even speak. I can only blink. All right, so now, yes, we will start saving. I don't know if I should, like, make all these save files all the time. I think it's kind of lowers, like, like the game kind of, like, starts having difficulties. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what's going on. I'm also going to try, like, I'm not the best Fire Emblem gamer pretty casual but uh i'll try not to just be too stupid you know i'll try to be somewhat competent i have been playing for a couple of years different fire moon games let's take care of those thieves before they overrun the village take down the enemies in front first that should take the wind out of their sails. Yep. All right, so. All right, I think that's okay. Maybe I could bump it up. Maybe I'm just being a little, a little crazy. I think that's okay. Now for this first map, I'm not gonna do it all the time, but they did put it in the game. So I'm gonna do it, at least for this one. I'm gonna go in like this. I don't think I've heard, I've seen anyone play like this, but it's pretty cool. Cause you can hear the environment. Watch, look at that. That's fire. It's all crackling and stuff. So that's pretty cool. I'll try and not get too dizzy <laughs> with this, but um, I'll why not, right? Through. Okay, there's Dimitri. Thank you. We are in your debt. It wouldn't do for us to fall in a place like this. Please lend us your strength. Let's work together to drive out these thieves. And there you go. Look at that squat. Look at that power squat. Claude is pretty casual. I'm pretty casual Edelgard is she's on something right now <laughs> she's on like her her like I'm royalty type stuff yeah Ready and willing. it's because of you guys that I'm not dead right now thanks for that I didn't expect to run into mercenaries like you in some remote village the gods of fortune must be smiling on me they only do the um, this is the only map they do the whole talking during battlefield the rest of it goes in the monastery, and I don't know how I, how I feel about that. I think it's pretty cool that you can, like... Well, I guess you can do talking on a battle when you're trying to, like... Do, like, a prologue or, uh... Stay focused. It's like a, a, a green unit. So I guess you could do that. Okay, I don't want to go that far. Boop. Your ability, got it. I will prevail. You better. All right, let's hit. Nice. Good job, princess. Cause that's what I'm calling her. That's what I'm calling her. She's royalty, right? Yep, yep, yep. We'll advance while protecting ourselves from the enemy. Take up position inside the forest. 
Mm-hmm. Terrain. Gonna hit him with maybe this one? Yes, good. If we're in the forest, we can sustain their attacks without losing the advantage. You have a strange aura about you. You say you're a mercenary, so show me what you can do. All right. Oh yeah, you can hear like he runs on this. And then on wood, it's like a different sort of sound. That's pretty cool. That's all pretty cool. Miss. Oh no. At least she hit that. This is a fine opportunity. Use the combat arts I taught you. Mm-hmm. She, she, she can hit this. Good job. Failure is not an option. I mean, I can weaken him, honestly. Just do some chip. definitely the only map I'm doing this it gets kind of kind of wild around here Damn. why are there mercenaries in the village guess we'll have to deal with them too all right fair enough attack when an ally is nearby and the enemy will be intimidated, making them easier to hit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, let's see, I go that way. She's fine. I think I blocked Gerald now. I think he can't come over here now. Yeah, he's in the grass. That's the only thing I hate. Okay, well, no, you're dead anyway. Idiot. Well, he's not dead dead. That's fine. He's not dead dead. I can actually pick him off. Um, Let's see what Edelgar can do. Ah, uh, I don't know if she can hit... It's almost like if I could bring her over here, actually. Good job. Witness my power. Nice. I must get stronger. That's good. That's good. Stay focused. Who's gonna attack who? Me? Yeah, they're just. They're focused on me. That makes sense. Let's go ahead and chip. If you can. Nice. Good job. Now he won't be able to attack me. He's in the grass. Hmm. Yeah. 
Nice. You fought well. Let's see what my level up is. I'm not setting a very good example. No, you're not. At least it's defense, but that's not good. Um, is he gonna attack Claude? No. Let me just keep it here then. Oh, he's in a trap. I should not have had him in the grass. Yeah, I can't be on this. I gotta, um, I can't do the whole inside. Oh, he's gonna. What the? Aren't you Gerald the Blade Breaker? What's a renowned mercenary like you doing here? I'm the one who should be complaining. I'm caught up in the mess you started. Okay, good. Yeah. I'm in trouble. Yeah, I'm gonna kill you where you stand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Take two. Be mindful. Okay. Sure, stick another one, who cares? Uh, wasn't the most pretty. Oh, that's really good. Such power dwells within. There we go. That makes up for it. And speed. Cutscene. Why would you ever defend that way? Why would you turn your back on the enemy? That's just stupid. Like, if you're a mercenary, you would know never to do that. Honestly, what are you accomplishing with that little stunt? Exactly. Like you're trying to get me killed, you fool. Wait, wait, hold up. What, what about me? <laughs> well, it's fine. After all, if you don't know the value of your own life, you're not going to protect it very well, are you? Of course not. <laughs> Well then, I guess it's up to me to guide you from now on, right? You can call me Sothis, but I'm also known as The Beginning. The Beginning. Hmm. I don't think we ever use that word Sothis. anymore. Yes, that is it. My name is Sothis. And I am also called The Beginning. But who once called me that? I don't know. <laughs> what are you talking about? I was not able to recall my name until just now. And just like that it came to me. How odd. That look upon your face. Did you think me a child? A mere child who forgot her own name? Calm down. Phooey! That child just saved your life. And what does that make you? I guess I'm less than a child. Correct. You understand. You threw yourself before an axe to save just one young girl. Yet all is well, as I have stalled the flow of time for now. You would have died had I not intervened. Thank you. so much to ask. I did deem you worth saving after all. Though it is only momentary, time has stopped. However did I manage that? What now? When time begins again, the axe will tear into your flesh and you will surely meet your end. That's not good. <sighs> How rude of you to drag me into this. Now what to do? Turn back the hands of time. I'm just saying. Or I can just steal. Like, I'll just stay here and wait to die. <laughs> just be fun with that, honestly. 
Nah. Of course. Oh, it, okay, it counts for her thing. Yes, I do believe it can be done. You really are quite troublesome. I cannot wind back time too far, but all is well. You are aware of what's to come, which means you can protect yourself this time. Now go! Yes, you who bears the flames within. Drift through the flow of time to find the answers that you seek. This mechanic doesn't help with RNG though. Once the RNG is rolled, you can't change that. So if a crit's gonna happen, a crit's gonna happen, and that's what's sad about it. I learned that the hard way during the Blue Lions. I kept getting crit on. I was so mad. You had so much time. How could you do it the other way? Hey, over here. Well, way to be late, guys. Hey, did you just? Oh, the cavalry is here. The Knights of Seros are here. We'll cut you down for terrorizing our students. Hey, the thieves are running away. Go after them. The students seem to be unharmed. And who's this? Uh, why him? All right, no one died. MVP, nice. I'll never do the whole zoomed in ever again. That is very tough. But it's nice, you know, it's it's, it's sort of nice. Captain Gerald, it is you. Goodness, it's been ages. Don't you recognize me? It's Alois, your old right hand man. Well, that's how I always thought of myself anyway. Oh, it must have been 20 years ago that you went missing without a trace. I always knew you were still alive. You haven't changed a bit, Alois, just as loud as ever. And drop that captain nonsense. I'm not your captain anymore. These days, I'm just a wandering mercenary, one who has work to do. Uh, goodbye, old friend. Dang. Right. Goodbye. After 20 captain. years, huh? Wait. That isn't how this ends. I insist that you return to the monastery with me. Garrig Mock Monastery. Uh, I suppose this was inevitable. And how about you, kid? Are you the captain's child? If he didn't want to return to the monastery, why was he operating so closely to it? <laughs> Clearly this is the territory where the monastery, like, oversees. So why would you do it? Uh, if I do, I'm a bandit. I think that's fun for Alois. I think he actually likes the joke. And I don't end up hurting his feelings. So let's do that. Oh, nice. Memory still sense works. Of humor, this one. Clearly cut from the same cloth as the captain. I'd love for you to see the monastery too. You will join me, won't you? I don't have a choice. <sighs> What's troubling you, captain? You aren't about to run off again, are you? Even I wouldn't dare run from the Knights of Saros. But you just did Knights 20 years ago. They do seem rather skilled. Ah, it seems your presence is required. Get going. I appreciate your help back there. Your skill is beyond question. You're clearly an experienced mercenary. And your father, that would be Geralt, the Bladebreaker? Former captain of the Knights of Saros, oft praised as the strongest knight to ever live. Have I missed anything? I mean, I guess he got it all. <laughs> he got, <laughs> you have more than me. I didn't know he was a captain. Oh, okay. 
wager the explanation for that is fascinating indeed. I had no idea that hey, helped her. Uh, you are thing. coming with us to the monastery, right? Of course you are. I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. Oh, no, Claude. I should mention that the three of us are students of the Officers Academy at Garrig Mock Monastery. We were doing some training exercises when those bandits attacked. I definitely at got night? the worst of it. That would be because you ran off. Too true. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. Everything would have worked out if these two hadn't followed me and ruined everything. Because of them, every single one of those bandits chased after us. Utterly ridiculous. Just wanted to be bait. Ah, so that's what you were thinking, Claude. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's words. <laughs> you will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely on. Shut up, Dimitri. Oh, joy. A royal debate between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely predictable affects one's ability to wield power. Personally, as the embodiment of distrust, I'd say your little exchange smacks of naivete. Ooh. Me. Naive. Tell me. Are you actually incapable of keeping quiet, or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? Dang. In any case, forgive our digression. I must speak with you if you can spare a moment. The way you held your ground against the bandit's leader was captivating. You never lost control of the situation. It showed me I still have much to learn. Your skill is precisely why I must ask you to consider lending your services to the Empire. I might as well tell you now. I am no mere student. I am also the Adrestian Empire's... Halt, Edelgard. Please allow me to finish my own proposition. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in dire need of exceptional individuals like yourself. It's like these three don't even know me. Do consider returning what are they doing? With me? Whoa there, you two sure are hasty. Trying to recruit someone you just met. <laughs> Tactless, really. I mean, really. I was personally planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back to the monastery before begging for favors. Yep. That's why you're the but best, Claude. There's no time for niceties in this world. So, capable stranger, let's get right to it. Where does your allegiance lie? Hmm. It seems one's place of birth is quite significant to them. Yet they are so impressed by you that you may take your pick. Well... All right, Black Eagle route. Gotta go of the Empire. Land of ancient history. Land of noble knights and the burgeoning League of Nobles. <laughs> A wise choice. Though the Empire has fallen from its former glory, the other regions are merely offshoots that pale in comparison. Dang. All right, that's enough with That's a little story. savage. It's time to head back to the monastery. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. My, my, they are in such a hurry. You know, each of the three is most unique. She is a refined young woman. But I feel as though she is always evaluating me. He seems quite since... Yeah, right. But I sense darkness lurking beneath. Okay, yep, yep. Noodle boy. And Claude. His easy smile is striking. But that smile doesn't reach his eyes. Okay. Yes, I thought the same. Oh, I am so sleepy. Once you see, Sothis is making me yawn. Like, I've been yawning. And it's because of her. Also, I'm streaming pretty late. I don't usually do that. But her yawning is not helping. Oh, I may be sleeping. Stop. That was her fault. Oh. I love these things. These little little things in, the, in between each chapter. Great tree moon. I wish they had the little end Three card houses. in the main menu that you can check. Because you can do the songs. You can do cuts. Oh, now you can't do cuts. The icy winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter. And the burden fields once again spring to life across Fogman, heralding the start of a new year. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential, just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great 
country. Yeah, so as I was saying, I wish they had that little thing. The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Yeah, we got th Three they do this uh, for the beginning. The land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000 year old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodlan and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. Yo, they did Edelgard's face so dirty in this, this cutscene. first time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodlin in a nutshell. The good and the Look bad. at her face. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. It's like Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> what? <laughs> they messed it up. <laughs> Let's hope they uh, get that fixed later on in the game. This... That shot is really pretty. There it is. Garrick Mock Monastery. That's a very pretty shot. Like from a painting. All of this is from a, like a painting. Hanuman looks actually pretty cool. Like right here. that's funny yeah this doesn't get old this is still a really cool opening everyone loves school life in their RPG right school life is the best that's why persona's right done so well Just doing a staring match. I wonder, did the flow of time bring you here? I don't know. Did it? The flow of time. It's been years since I've last set eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now. Uh... You've been here before? I've never spoken of this to you before, but many years ago, I was a knight here. I reported to the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. I don't think these choices matter. In the word of the wise egg, your choices truly do not matter. As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlan are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Thank you for your patience, Jeff. My name is Setic. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. Yeah, they all just right. squared up on us. Came out of nowhere. It has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder, was it the will of the goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. So I see. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. That is your child, is it not? Rhea's design is very beautiful. That design is great. This this game's design is really good. Like it's like one I've never like seen the way they design characters and stuff. It's really cool. Yes. Born many years after I left this place. I Wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child, but I'm afraid we lost her to illness. I see. My condolences. As for you, I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. What is your name? My name is Blank. A fine name indeed. 
From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for saving those students of the Officer's Academy. Hmm. <laughs> He's like, we shouldn't have Jones, done it. You already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but... Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I must step away for now. But I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Please listen carefully to what they have to say. Until tomorrow, farewell. Ah, I can't believe it. Force back into the Knights of Seros. Uh, I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. I must work here? Please tell me it's as a mercenary. Please. Don't tell me I gotta teach these kids. <laughs> Please. I'm so young. They'll never respect me. Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. That's exactly the opposite of what I wanted, man. Why you do this? You heard those brats earlier talking about the Officers Academy, right? He even called them brats. He called them brats. How do you think I'm going to feel? Well, the Academy just happens to be short a professor. And apparently that damned Alois went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. Okay. <laughs> so, you must be the new professor. My, how stern and handsome you are. Yo, they squared up uh, on us again. No, <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. You can handle things from here. You're running Good away? Luck. He ran away. And watch out for Lady Rhea. Don't leave me here. I don't know what she's thinking, making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Stay on your guard. Oh, it's you then? So young. Competence and age are not necessarily correlated, as you well know. Dang, that's a burn. I am Hanneman, a crest scholar and professor at the Officer's Academy. Dude, I thought this man was going to be so savage. You bear a crest of he got own. pushed all the way and back in the plot. A moment to spare, I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject further. He's a crest scholar. You'd think he'd be pretty important in a game about crests. But no. They did hand him in dirty. I'm Manuela. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. Don't tempt me. It's nice to meet you. You're a songstress, huh? Ooh. Yes. Of she course. like that. Before I came here, I belonged to a renowned opera company. She wants to talk about her uh, past me? life. The Middle Franc Opera Company is beautiful, peerless. Spare our colleague the needless chatter, Manuel. Now then, it seems you'll be taking charge of one of the Academy's three houses. I expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each, have you? Do you really not know? Fine, I'll do you a favor and explain. The Officer's Academy is comprised of three houses of students, each of which is closely affiliated with its region of origin. The Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Princess. Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next Emperor. Told you. The it's not rude. The Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. I, I would just Their skip this part, honestly. This year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next King of Fargus. Nah, Chief. Lastly, he ain't my king. There is the Golden Deer House which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan, the leader of the Alliance. I wish we could have saw what Duke Regan looked like. You don't get to see him. Duke are all here. It certainly is a promising year for the Academy. I'll say. I just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble. Hmm, quite. For now, I suggest taking a stroll around the academy to get your bearings. And when you have a moment, please stop by my research laboratory. The old man has a point. Oh, 
And keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that way. Uh, I suggest uh. you try spending time with the students. Some odd ducks in that bunch, but they're good kids. I'm sure Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow, but that should get you going. Good luck. You'll need it. Have you no intention of changing your mind, Rhea? Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor at our esteemed academy is... I have made my decision, Sedith. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is truly no need. Yo, they're talking that's behind my danger. back. It's Gerald's flesh and blood, after all. I can't say that's all too comforting. How trustworthy is this Gerald character? Is he not the man who went missing after the Great Fire 21 years ago? I would remind you that Flane is now here with us as well. I beg of you, please consider whether this is an unnecessary risk. Sadith, they have my trust. Let that be enough for you as well. She's like Sadith. Shut I have up. I received a report from Shamir. I am increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious individual. We cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the church, especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mach. Yes, that matter is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. Rhea, for now I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. I pray that nothing occurs to shake that confidence. Good old plot exposition. Hopefully I'm going to try and get better at like talking my way through the map. Trying to explain what I'm thinking of and what my strategy is. It's so easy to kind of just zone out and just play quietly, but that's not entertaining. Gotta talk it gotta gotta talk it out, you know? Gotta see what's going on here. If this is the cafeteria, it's way too quiet. I see what they did there. The three houses theme. Yeah, I think this is the dining hall. And they were just like, no food. <laughs> no nothing. Raphael's face looking like Orochimaru. Did you see that? Raphael's face definitely looked like Orochimaru. Oh, Hilda, the word. Uh, everyone loved Hilda. We never see that either, like them holding up things like that. Sleepy boy. Petra. Oh, yeah, we see you, Dorothea. Yeah, we see you too, Bernadetta. Ash looking, he's all posing. Ingrid, Sylvain. He would have been a good character without that. Edge Boy, Stonehenge, Noodle Hair. I'm just making, <laughs> I'm making all the worst nicknames possible. Uh, then we got Alpha Mother. Yeah, Alpha Mother right here. The design is good, man. Yep. All right, that's good. I assume you are already aware that you will be teaching here at the Officers Academy, correct? To start, please speak with the three house leaders. You should also take a look around the Academy and acquaint yourself with your new home. That is your first task here at the monastery. Please let me know if you accept it. I Once don't. Once you have finished, come and speak with me. Let me just walk. Let me walk out the front gate. May I ask a favor of you? Alright, so we talked to the house leaders. There's quests, so we'll be getting quests a lot in the game. Okay, good. I can run from the very beginning. Um, when I get fast travel, the quest will be a lot quicker. Because I can just fast travel travel everywhere. But until then, we gotta walk. Ha! I imagine you were a bit surprised that I recommended you as a professor here. Frankly, yeah. we had someone else in mind for the role, but 
They ran off during our dust-up with the bandits. Can't entrust students to someone who's abandoned them once before, huh? You saved the lives of the students you came across. That, at least, was admirable. Now, you should make the rounds. Go around the monastery and see that you greet everyone. I'm only greeting the people in my class. Just to get it a little bit... Well, I don't know. Nah, I'll just talk to everyone. It's my live stream. I can do what I want. <laughs> I can do what I want. I'll talk to everyone. Yep, we know. We'll do... Well... I don't think it matters right now. Let's leave them like this. Yeah, look at the flow. This is lagging all over the place. Let's see. Wasn't there people over here? Oh man, this game is busted. This game. Think? Wow. Wow. That's not good. Okay. <laughs> that took a long time to load. Jeez. Did they update the game so much that it's going to break itself? Yikes. Dang, it is stuttering. Yes. I don't get to meet you to be my friend. Pardon me. You must be a new student. <laughs> Who are you? What's this? Nothing? She's just frozen? Greetings. You must be the new professor. What a pleasure. As for me, my job is to stand here at this glorious entrance and leisurely watch over the comings and goings of everyone. Make folks smile, you know? Uh, and by that, I mean to vigilantly guard this entrance with my very life just people no watching levity whatsoever so all he's doing is people As watching now nothing to report i think i'm gonna actually quit out and delete these save files and see if that helps because this is killing it uh yeah this is killing it a lot all right let me go how do i do it there we go. Let's delete some of the stuff that we don't need. Oh yeah, I also need to do the side story. The DLC. So I'll do that later. But let's just delete a lot of this stuff out. Keep these. It's like they gave us a lot of save data, but if it's going to make the game kind of die like that, then I don't want to do that. There we go. Hopefully that's good now. Whew, that was a little scary. That game was really struggling. I mean, when it first came out, the game had like 10 save slots, so... People started complaining, and that's why they were like, okay, here's a lot more, but maybe it wasn't meant to have that many save slots to begin with, because uh, that was pretty, that was pretty gnarly. Also, it was like the first couple, like the first part of the game might just be that way, honestly. But I don't remember it being that choppy. Give it a second. Is it? What do you think? Okay. Okay, no, it's not it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's better. A little bit, kind of. <laughs> so you've accepted a teaching position here. Pity. I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. I never properly introduced myself, did I? My name is Edelgard von Hresfeld. I am the princess and heir apparent of the Adrestian Empire. I wonder if you'll be tasked with leading the Black Eagles. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? Yes. Oh, well, I guess you. Me? Well, some think I'm a bit distant. Arrogant, even. But there's little to be done. One day, I must rise to become Adrestia's next emperor. 
What else? Well, it seems to me that we may have similar personalities. Oh, she said that we have similar personalities? Okay, interesting. Yeah, so... I'm trying to think. She has her own progression, so I don't really care what really happens to her. She'll be OP no matter what. It'll be fine. Hubert... Hubert is the heir of Marquis Vestra. He has served me since I was a child. You may think his blood runs a bit cold, but <laughs> actually that's rather accurate. Savage. Still, if you can get past that, you'll see he's quite astute and reasonable. Strengths, weaknesses. Yeah, he can just be a mage. That's all he's good for is being a mage. And that kind of drops off because I don't know if he'll be able to be on a horse. I'm going to try and make him a dark knight so he can at least not fall completely off. Ferdinand is going to be a standard. I actually want to be a great For knight. For some reason, he thinks of me as a bitter <coughs> rival and is always trying to challenge me. It's terribly irritating. His house is that of Duke Iron, which produces Adrestia's prime ministers. That family is perhaps too pleased with its own status. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make him a great knight. I've never had anyone, I've never had a unit put um, its armor class up, and I want to give him great knight status. I think that would be pretty cool. He's remarkably intelligent, but he only wishes to apply himself to tasks that particularly interest him, and nothing else. He's also fond of, well, napping. If he had any work ethic or sense of duty to speak of, I suppose he would be destined to become an official of the Empire. He's going straight to the bench. <laughs> Sorry, Linhart, but, uh... Nah, you're going straight to the bench, honestly. He's the second son of Count Bergwies. He has no inheritance in his future, which is perhaps why he's always so eager to prove himself. Short man he's status. He's overly energetic and rushes headfirst into any battle. If he ends up in your care, be sure to keep a close eye on him. Yo, Edelgard is not talking any of her classmates up. He's, she's basically just saying, yeah, everyone here is not that great. Oh, why would I? Oh. <laughs> Savage. She's Count Varley's only daughter. I suppose you could say she's a bit eccentric, but she seems like a gentle soul. I believe she shut herself away in her quarters and doesn't care to leave. But don't worry, I'll make sure she finds her way to class. She'll be a bow knight. Few commoners have joined the Black Eagle House, but Dorothea is an exception. She's a songstress from a famous opera company in the Empire. I'm not entirely sure what brought her to the Officers Academy. I'll make her. I think she has a hidden. We. Uh, she has a hidden talent in faith, so she can be a grimmery. She'll be fine. Plus, she's a songstress. Few com. She's a song. Yeah, she can do 10 HP every turn if someone's next to her. So, like, she's super useful just for that. And then Petra is automatic as to the well. The west of Fodlin is an archipelago called Bridget. Petra is the granddaughter of their king. Bridget is a vassal state of the Empire, which is how she came to be enrolled here. She's incredibly smart and studious. Yeah, she's 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 instant like first tier in my in my opinion. Like she's just filthy when when it comes to critting. Like she'll crit anybody. And I mean obviously you put her as an assassin, she can't get touched. I don't know, maybe I'll like I have an idea to make her a fighter, honestly. Maybe that like can help I don't know. Just have fun with it, honestly. It's really tough to like lose in this game unless you're just completely dumb especially on new game plus like new game plus kills everybody pardon me yes i don't get to meet you don't be his friend that's step one what do you think the golden deer house is for students of the lester alliance our house leader is heir to the alliance's leadership house regan we have plenty of other prominent nobles as well Oop. Oh, Petra.
All right, who am I gonna take in, to my um, classroom? Who's gonna join my class? That that came out so weird. Are you someone's guest? The dining hall's that way, if that's what you're looking for. <laughs> no, Raphael, that's Captain Gerald's kid. Hi, I'm Leone Pinelli, Captain Gerald's first and greatest apprentice. I'm sure he's told you about me. Nice to meet you. I'm Raphael yep. Kirsten. Who are you again? She's looking at something. What do you think? Look at me. See, look, I'm teaching. Blah 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 blah. I'm teaching. Hey, are you that mercenary? Oh God, Hilda! Everyone's been talking about you. I'm Hilda Valentine Goneril, and her name is. Of course, her middle name's Valentine. Marianne von Edmund. Aww. Are you in. joining the Knights of Saros or something? Well, I look forward to seeing more of you. Everyone just flipped out when they saw Hilda. And then after you play the game, just nothing but crickets when it comes to Hilda. And I'm like, ooh. <laughs> when everyone collectively just understands Hilda is just... It's like, okay, yeah. There you go. Ah, you must be that renowned mercenary. Perhaps you'd like to join me for a cup of tea sometime. My name is Lawrence Hellman Gloucester. You will want to remember it. No, I don't have to. I don't have to, Lawrence. Lawrence belongs like in JoJo or something, I feel. I feel like they just plucked him out of JoJo and put him here. He doesn't deserve this. He needs to go back to JoJo. mercenary who saved Claude are you oh you are it's such an honor to meet you Ignaz Victor my parents are Alliance merchants and I am Lysithia von Ordelia please do not forget it oh, I didn't know they like wave at you they're just like hello I'm like, oh, that's cool it's adorable they're just waving well well scored a teaching gig here did you talk about a great first impression I guess that means I'd better introduce myself properly I'm Claude Von Regan. I'm from the ruling house of the Leicester Alliance, but don't worry too much about all that madness. I'm guessing you don't know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? I bet you'd like ours. We're not as difficult as the other two. Preach. Have you met the Preach. folks from the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more about anyone? <laughs> Just say no. Uh, yeah. Listen, Claude, your house is great. That's it was so a fun route. I like Annette's positive attitude. I see he's the youngest student here. Why you have to say that like that? What's going on, fam? Why is this? Why? Why does it have to be so high? Look at how high it is from his head. Oh, I guess it's to make room for his. Jeez. Right, right. Okay. This classroom belongs to the Blue Lion House. Our house leader is Prince Dimitri. All of us here hail from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Oh, short one. Sh short and sweet. Hey, Sylvain. Well, well, it must be my lucky day today, being approached by such a beauty. You're in front of the door. I'm Sylvain Jose Gautier. Feel free to say hi whenever you like. You're in front of the door. I'd be kind of savage to just walk right past you. Hi there. You must be the one everyone's talking about. I'm Ash. Great to meet you. This here is Dudu. He serves Prince Dimitri. His I Highness. I have heard that you rescued His Highness. His Highness. Words cannot express my gratitude. His Highness. Should you ever require my strength, please know that I will hasten to repay this debt. All right, Dudu. Ah. I have heard all about what you did from Prince Dimitri. As a citizen of Fargus, I thank you. He also said you're quite skilled. And he doesn't just say things like that. I look forward to sparring with you and beating you. Felix, must you always speak of fighting right away? Oh, and uh, you may call me Ingrid. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. All right. <laughs> Good old fashioned pull out the, uh, the, uh, the, the headphone jack. And who's this? You don't look familiar at all. Do you work here at the monastery? Oh, mercy. Do you think this is that mercenary people have been talking about? Now that I think about it, that does sound like something Dimitri may have said. I suppose you'll be enrolling at the Officers Academy too then? Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. 
My name is Mercedes, and this is my best friend. I'm Annette. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> one of them is good, and one of them is not. Can you guess which one it is? I think it's savage that she assumed I would be a student. Like, that's pretty savage of you. Do I look that young? I mean, I know- Wow, she's like my height. What the heck? She's like my height. Dang, Mercedes. <laughs> You're a strong, independent woman, huh? You're not like a net. Let me talk to Dimitri. I, I have to. Whoa, wait. Hold up. This is the classroom of the Black Eagle House, which is for students from the Adrestian Empire. His hair, dude. Our house leader is Princess Edelgard. There are many other nobles among our ranks as well. Got a ponytail and then a side little... Oh my... <laughs> that is fashion. That is fashion. I am Hubert, a humble servant of Lady Edelgard. I heard you came to the aid of Her Highness. You have my most sincere thanks. Oh, he says Her this Highness. This is Petra. She has come all the way from Brigid to study in the Empire. Back on her archipelago, she is actually a princess. Mm, really? In Fodland terms, she would be called heir to the throne. We got two princesses Hello. in the same I am class. Petra. I am pleased to be meeting with. Uh, no. Uh, I am pleased to have met you. It's pretty cool. So he calls Edelgard her highness, and Daydu calls. Dimitri, his oh. highness. And there you go. What? I don't talk to strangers. <laughs> okay. Bernadetta, this is no stranger. Our house leader owes this person a great debt. Is that not right? I am Ferdinand von Eyer, legitimate son of the Eyer family, the Empire's foremost house. Are you going to join our class? I look forward to getting better acquainted with you. I will say, Bernadetta not talking to strangers is pretty smart. I mean, strangers are crazy. Well now, you don't have a familiar face. What brings you here? Oh, my name is Dorothea. Before I joined the Academy, I was a member of an opera company in the Empire. You should hear me sing sometime. Yes. Yes, I should. Whoa. Is it true that you saved Edelgard? That's incredible. The name's Caspar, by the way. Pleased to meet you. Linhard, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Jeez, Linhard, how'd you get into the academy with those manners? Goodbye. So, are you a student here too? Maybe we'll be in the same class. Everyone's assuming I'm a student. That's savage. Hey. Oh, there's someone over here. I didn't know that. Oh, I think I know who it is. Yeah, it's him. Do you want? Oops, oops, okay. There we go. I am Yuritsa. I teach here. Weapon instruction. These are the training grounds. Goodbye. I will say his style is pretty it's pretty good, man. He's got the one sleeve cut up, kind of like how I do with my cloak. Then he's got the shoulder guard. That's the one thing I'm like, why didn't they give the woman a choice any armor? Like she has one little knee pad, and then like her, she has like her arm gauntlet things, like Wonder Woman. Like, what are you doing? <clears throat> Give her more armor. It's so messed up, man. The, the, the male alternate. He's so strapped down. He's got like a chest plate. He's got like a rib cage armor set. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? It's like night. It's like nine day. Hello. Please accept my apologies for the other day. You came to our aid, yet I hadn't even the courtesy to properly introduce myself. I am Dimitri Alexandra Blathed, Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Don't care. Of course, at the academy, I am simply a student, and I've heard word that you are to become a professor here. Delightful news. I still have much to learn. But I'm confident I could benefit greatly from your guidance. In any case, welcome to the monastery. I hear you're investigating the different houses here. 
Did any of the blue lions catch your attention? I mean, a couple, but I'm, if I'm, I'm fine. I appreciate your effort. Nice. I suppose I should return to Raya. Yeah, let's go. <clears throat> Nothing else to do. How are you enjoying your time at the academy thus far? I hope you have found our halls brimming with the vitality of well-intentioned souls. Hmm. I suppose it is time for you to take charge of one of our three houses of students. I must note that I am personally against entrusting someone as lacking in trackable history as yourself with such a task. I mean, he's not wrong. But it is as the Archbishop desires. He's smart. He's smart. Like, the I have no teaching. Eagles, the blue lions and the golden deer. All so different. I hope you've made it a point to get to know each of them. Since you are new here, we have decided to allow you first pick. Manuela and I will take charge of the remaining two houses. It's like Pokemon. Which one will you pick? So, like I said, so I've played it before. I played the Avicii route, so we're playing this Black Eagles. But I will say, how, like, the beginning part, like, there's a point in the game where the storylines split. But the beginning stuff is basically the same. How cool would it have been if they actually had different... You know different things to do depending on each route that you take that'd be pretty cool but that would make the game i don't know that probably make it even more of a like memory thing but that'd be pretty cool it's like each house you picked really did have different storylines but uh we'll take what what we can get i guess so yeah don't have to move my cursor it's just right here Many are nobil nobility, and most of them use magic. So you have chosen the Black Eagles led by Edelgard, correct? Mm-hmm. Your heart has made its choice, then. All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care, and sincerity. They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Vodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead them. Brother? I am so sincerely sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. I am in the middle of something, Flame. Is it urgent? Just no, no, it's nothing. Just ruined the whole mood. More importantly, who is this? This is our newest professor at the academy. Oh my! A new addition to the officers' academy. I am so very pleased to meet you, Professor. Welcome to the family. I am Sedith's little sister, Flame. I am so happy to make your acquaintance. Let us focus on the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. Let's forget my little sister. In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between the three houses, intended to gauge the current progress of the students. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Please do not disappoint the Archbishop. That is all. Do I have time to train the students? Because I don't think I will, fam. How are you going to be able to gauge my abilities if I haven't actually trained them? Setting me up for failure. I like it. Day one, trying to set me up. Wait, so our new professor is you? I didn't see that one coming. Yo. Easy, Caspar. <laughs> Aren't you being a bit rude? About the failure. You Day know one, about the failure. Time to expect politeness from him. It will be a pleasure learning from you, Professor. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to take a nap. <laughs> don't look at me like that. Oh, and please don't talk to me too much either. She wears the hoodie. <sighs> I'm sorry for the chaos you've walked into. I hear we are rather close in age, Professor. I hope you do not mind if we treat you like one of us. In our class, we try to treat each other as equals, despite any differences in age or status. Personally, I would love to include you in that inner circle. No, I'm, I'm a professor. You should show me respect. Nothing but respect. You have a gut, professor. I will take great joy from your teachings. Petra, I believe you mean to say that our professor has guts. That's a bit different from having a gut. You can't go around saying someone so slim and attractive has a gut. <laughs> oh, uh, please take my apologies. 
I have not yet mastered this language. Professor, I want you to know that it's perfectly acceptable for you to treat me as you do the others. I may be the Imperial Princess, but here at the Academy, I'm just another student. That said, know that I have high expectations of you, and high hopes, but I'm certain you can lead the Black Eagle House to greatness. Mm-hmm. Sure, sure. Now let's break the sure, ice sure. training session. I'm like Casper, I'm like, okay. I'll see our new teacher in action. Why will the ice be broken? Is this a custom I have missed in my studies? Not real ice, just the ice of, um, well, it just means let's get to know each other. I don't want to train. Let's stay in the classroom and learn from a book. Let's all calm down and have a nice cup of tea, how about? Doesn't that sound lovely, Professor? This man really went to sleep somewhere. I know we all agreed to treat each other as equals, but there is a limit to what I can tolerate. The esteemed Black Eagle House requires order. <laughs> Looks like your first job will be to quiet down this racket. I don't envy you. I guess you're not gonna help. They're not normally this... rowdy. I do hope you can manage, Professor. What have I gotten myself into? Should have stopped while I was ahead. Finishing two out of three isn't too bad. But no, I had to try and go for the last one. The third house. I wonder if they wanted this house to like... I wonder what the designed play order was supposed to be. Because I, I went Golden Deer, Blue Lions, Black Eagles. I wonder if they just wanted you to play Black Eagles first. I don't know. New places to explore. Yo, so <clears throat> also, this is New Game Plus, so I'm going to break the game f right away and just capitalize on getting all the perks that I get. Got a thousand. Say, while you're here, I'd like to use this device I designed to determine whether the power of a crest resides within you. Won't hurt a bit. Promise. You don't know about crests? Well, allow me to tell you everything. Absolutely everything about them. Is your calendar clear? This will take a while. Crests are a fascinating topic. But before one can dive deeply into said topic, one must first understand what crests are. They are power incarnate. They are said to have been bestowed upon humans by the goddess countless ages ago. They exist within the flesh and are passed down through bloodlines. Those who carry crests may excel at magic, display exceptional strength, or any number of boons. Each crest has its own power, My eyes are like the dying nature right of now. which is beyond mortal understanding. For now. And you believe I have a crest? I suspect as much, yes. But we won't know for sure unless I look into the matter. As I said, crests are passed down through the blood. However, just because someone carries a crest does not necessarily mean their descendants will inherit it as well. Only a scarce few descendants of a crest's bloodline end up inheriting that crest's power. Perhaps one of your ancestors bore a crest, and you just happen to inherit it. That is how a crest usually presents itself, after all. Yes, of course. I'll get to the bottom of it straight away. Do what you want, Hanneman. Now then, Whatever makes you happy. go ahead and hold out your arm over this device here. What is this? My arm disappeared. A pattern I've never seen before. Is it possible an as yet undiscovered crest has been detected? To think, there are still crests out there that even I am unaware of. How thrilling! <clears throat> Pardon my unrestrained jubilation. I have much to consider. You may leave now. I have more research to do in regard to this crest. Yes, so very much more research. 
But for now, your work here is done. Hmm. What could this line here be indicating? Perhaps it represents a lack of symmetry. Or perhaps... What in the world? <laughs> oh, I see. What are you looking at, it fam? It may be connected to that, but to a greater degree than usual. Same. Say, like, what was he even looking at? Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. With each moon, professors of the Officers Academy receive a schedule for the month ahead. It notes the days on which events and missions will take place that month. Pay careful attention to your schedule, so that you may thoughtfully plan what you intend to do each month, and when. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Look at all this. Look at all that stuff. I want to buy a gauntlet right away for Casper. I want to make him a fighter class. So let me give him this. I think that's all I need. Because I have this for myself. And Edelgard is going to get the axe. Hubert has nothing. I don't really need to use him. Yep. 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 Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Do a save. Oh, yeah. Change my goals. So I can just let her do whatever she wants. Wait, there we go. <laughs> it's like, how am I doing this? Uh, okay, yeah. So, oh, she has a hidden for reason. That's cool, actually. <clears throat> so she has a reason. Sword axe. I mean, she'll get her own stuff, so it doesn't matter, but I want to check out what her reason is about. I'm curious about that. Whoops. Alright. I thought there was a way I could, like... Dang, I have to go. Okay, whatever. Okay. So, Lance... But he can't ride. And because he can't, like, I'll have to work harder to get him to be a dark knight. But he he can't do lance and reasoning. So I'll just work harder and give him writing skills as well. Yeah, let me see. Oh. Oh yeah, never mind. Um, what? I, no. Is it reason writing? No. Stop. Okay, there we go. Ferd, Ferdinand can do heavy armor. Yep. So I'm gonna make him a great knight. So he does all that heavy armor writing. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get. I'll do axe and writing. I don't care about you, cause that's just <laughs> that's just gross. Um, yeah, so you can be axe and brawl. That's all he can do, but it's okay. Why? Why not? Bernadetta can be a bow knight, so bow and riding it is. <laughs> Dorothea is going to be faith and reason for grimmery. So we're just gonna let her do that. She doesn't need to have a sword. Petra, I wanted to make her a flying unit just for fun. Cause she can do axe. So she has axe, bow, sword. I'm gonna do it. I wanna do it. I might ruin Petra doing this, but I just wanna do it. I wanna have fun and just do that.
And we don't have anything. Yep, new game plus. I can break. Oh, whoops. Uh, what was it? So this is my room. I thought I heard a girl's voice, but I must have been imagining things. So DLC. Oop. Yep. Okay, I just took everything. Journal. So I can change my unit appearance. Um. Oh my. Terrible. <laughs> uh, this is actually really funny. Like, you can actually be a maid. Oh my, I can't, de I definitely can't wear that. Uh, this is okay-ish. That's just a straight joke if a teacher wears this. That's a joke. Oh, I mean, that's a joke too, obviously, but. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Um, yeah, I think I can't do anything crazy. I don't want to really mess with these, honestly. Nah. All right, this is what really matters. Just cheat the game right now. <laughs> Just break it instantly. So that tells that ad adjutants, adjutants, whatever. Uh, I can. I can break the game even more by giving myself a, a boost. I don't really mess with that. Everyone has crests uh, on this? Well, I'll, I'll check. I'll check, let's see. So I have something, she has something. Which one's, okay, Hubert has nothing, so I might give something to Hubert for magic. He has something. Combat arts prevent, that's pretty sad. I don't care about you. Casper needs something for physical. Weapon attack strice, that's pretty cool. And Dorothea, so Hubert, Casper, and Dorothea, and Petra, okay. Don't we already have them? I think it kept my inventory from last time. Yep, I don't have the biome. They just keep some. The things that I've bought before. That's broken. Weapon attacks. Don't need that. The might of magic. There we go. That's yours. Conserves attack magic. Um, yeah, for right now. Use it. Increases. Don't need that. Oh, let's see. Weapon attacks prevent counters. Sure, Casper. That'd be fun. And then the might. Okay, then Dorothea can have that as well. Conserves the use of attack magic. Increases the might. D doubling attack and weapon uses of combat arps. What? That's broken. Which one was that? Doubling attack and weapon uses. Go ahead and use that on Petra. Why not? Prevent the counter. Uh, not that one. There we go. Uh, okay, so give that. No one else really needs an axe, but it'll guard. Mm, Hubert doesn't need. Uh, let me see. What can Hubert do again? No, no, no. He can do a bow as of right now. He can do a lance later. 
I'll give him a lance then. We only have one. Okay. Well then he'll take the sword away. From Linhart. Mm-hmm. You can just equip this actually. Okay. That's good now. Nothing crazy here yet. Yeah, I'm just gonna cheese. We're just we're just gonna be cheesing. <laughs> just gonna, we're just gonna start. Uh, if I do that, does that give me my button talent as well? I don't know if it does. S ranked authority. I don't know. That's kind of useless. Authority's kind of useless. Ooh. Yeah, okay, it doesn't even give the three. Oh man, I gotta do that anyway. That sucks. Um, that's it. That's all I need. Now this allows me to break the game and bring in my students that I need. So that's what I'm going to do. I want to see more of her supports. But wait, let's make sure we have enough. Let's see if he's gotta come. She's gotta come over. She has to be in the group. Mary Marianne has to be in the group. Those are my two from Golden Deer. Everyone else is no. Mercedes gotta come through. Um uh, I would rather take Ash instead of Felix, to be fair. Does Ash have any supports? Curious. Let's talk to just those two. Does Felix have any supports? Oh, I've already had these ones. So I'll just bring in Ash. Oh, there we go. All right, so we, we're gonna not bring Felix. That might be a mistake, but uh, it's fine. And we're going to, yeah, we brought Ash. We're gonna bring Mercedes. I wanna bring Ingrid too, honestly. How many people do I have currently? Cause I gotta make sure I can like bring them. Yeah, I, I have room for like two more. For like two more, let's see. So uh, angry could be one. No, yeah, that's all I need. I'm good. I'm good. Let's do it. And then we'll just do this to see what the rest of her is. I wish there was a way you can spam the ending, um, the S rank. But the way they have it set up is so brutal. You have to pick the person, then do the battles, and then watch the S rank. But it's like, you have to do all those battles if you reload, I'm sure. Because I think once you, uh, once you get the rank, you can just save and then reload the last save. And I think it's like, you'll still keep it in the main menu. But you gotta do all those battles again. And I'm like, that's crazy, fam. So I'll, most likely I'll probably just watch these S ranks on YouTube or something because someone else has probably gone through it. Or maybe I can just look and maybe there's like a secret thing of like, it's like you don't actually have to do nothing too crazy for it. No, that's good. Do I need to do, should I do it? Just to skip through some of these. I already maxed out hers before. Dorothy was the first one I S ranked. Uh, Petra's I maxed out. Nah, I'll keep the rest. You never know. 
All right, now let's get going. Got to open up the rest of the monastery. Oh, is that so, it? these are the students' quarters. To better help you supervise them, you also have a room here. Your room That's dangerous. Here. That's so stupid. <laughs> Commoner students also reside on the first floor, while the second is primarily for students of noble birth. As a rule, we try to avoid discrimination based on social status here, but the nobility can be quite insistent when it comes to matters of propriety. Speaking of, while they have to sleep to above the masses, conduct, I expect you to set a good example for the students. Don't have me sleep right now. Oh, whatever. I'm not too keen on the professor of my class. I really hope to focus more on strategy. Hmm. Maybe I should talk to my professor about transferring to a different class. And that's him. so you could do it right from day one. Yes. Crazy. Let me know when you are hungry. I will make you a quality meal as thanks for your service to his highness. I have a request. Plant the seed of Dedu. I heard about the upcoming mock battle. I want you to know, professor, that I do not intend to lose. Uh huh. I hereby declare my intention to prevail at mm -hmm. goodness, listen to me. The thrill of competition has carried me away. I won't speak so formally of the class assignment in the future. Okay, then. Okay. Professor. Some believe the dignity of the Empire rests on the results of the mock battle. That's an overstatement, of course. Still, we must do our best to prevail. You should take the time to learn each student's abilities. Perhaps some extra lessons and training sessions are in order? You look as if you have no idea what's going on here. I know my way around, so I'm happy to help you find your footing. Edelgard is not as tall. Like, people say like she's really short, but like compared to me, she's not that short. But she is kind of wearing... Uh, her heels aren't that bad in terms of like... It's not like wearing stilts. Dimitri and Claude are the leaders of the other two houses. Do not underestimate them. When we take the field, it would be best not to engage the both of them at once. Hmm. Good call. Listen to this. Wow, Yuritsa sure seems strong. I kind of thought he was going to be the new professor assigned to our class. After that teacher ran away during our outdoor training, I figured Yuritsa was a natural replacement. I was surprised when you were suddenly appointed professor instead. I don't think I could hold my own against Yuritsa in battle. Well, I could probably take you, though. Stupid. You really think so? With enough training, I'm sure I'll beat you someday. No, that is not possible. What? That's not possible. I care nothing of friendship. Okay. If you have no business here, leave. Okay, fam. Whatever you say, man. Couldn't be me. <laughs> uh, trying, trying to talk and make friends with, with grown adults. Couldn't be me. Let me just start talking to the students again. Uh, you're not. Oh, you are. Really Let not. me tell you the provenance of our class name. <laughs> for some reason, he looked so generic for a that sec. That refers to the twin-headed eagle on the Adrestian Empire's coat of arms, and black is the traditional color of the Empire's armor. Hence, black eagles. I'm sorry, Ferdinand. I won't call you generic ever again. Let's see, let's see, let's see, see, see. Hello. Hi, Professor. How are you doing? Great. If you're not busy, would you like to join me on a little trip into town? Absolutely. If I'm cooped up in this dusty old monastery for too long, it drives me absolutely crazy. I mean, let's go. What are we waiting for? Story. The Blue Lion House derived its name from the honorary title of the first king of Fargus. Lug, the king of lions, wore brilliantly blue garments. His chivalric exploits are recorded in multiple legends. Blue is a nice color. Various historical accounts regarding him and the Blue Lions. Blue is my favorite if you color. Find time, you should read them. They're filled with insights. The Blue Lion House. Oh, I can't. Luke the library if you find time huh. right, right. 
before I came here. Before I came to the Officers Academy, I attended a school of magic in the Kingdom Capital. That's where I met Annie. That's what I call Annette. Who? I guess Lawrence was at the school of magic too. But Annie was always just so nice to me, even though I was older. She's my best friend in the world. Before, oh, that's where yeah, I okay, wow. They're always doing introductions, that's it. This is the Golden Deer House. You're in charge of a different house, right? Too bad we won't see more of each other. I'm happy to learn from you if the opportunity comes up. Our house is that of the Golden Deer. Do you know the significance of that Golden Deer are sacred creatures said to have protected Lester since time immemorial? All three of the houses have a meaning behind their name. Mm -hmm. You should feel free to ask around. Mm -hmm. Did not go over there like I should have, but I'll sweep back around. Mm. Listen. Should probably be praying. I mean, it's up to you, man. Adjusted to life at the academy yet? Me, I'm still not used to it. I'm not one for all this studying and training. Mm -hmm. Hey, teach. I hear there's gonna be a mock battle between the houses. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a bit concerned about facing an elite mercenary like you. Maybe take it easy on us. What do you say? I wonder if there's a way you can actually fail this first one. I mean, I guess if you die, but dying just means a game over. I have no idea how you're supposed to do it. Or like how you could like not win. <laughs> Oops. Oh, Leone. I'm Captain Gerald's first and best apprentice. I can beat anyone, Professor. Even you, if I have to. I love Gerald. I have been only for a short time, but I learned from the absolute best. I mean, it'd make more sense if she, like, professed her love for him, but I don't even think she did that. She just admires him. So, I don't know. I guess that's, like, her second father or something. Well, there's Dorothea, <laughs> Hilda, and Mercedes. Lady Rhea is quite the beauty, too. Yep. And I must admit, I've even checked out Professor Manuela once or twice. Okay. You know, Professor, I think I'm going to like it at the Officers Academy. Mm -hmm. There are beautiful girls as far as the eye can see. Yeah. I mean, I can respect that, but when that's all to your character, it starts to get a little old. Like, if you had anything better than just that, then yeah, but you uh, don't. Professor, I've got a small all right, this is for ask. eating, which is all you want to do is just eat with the students i don't like to come out unless i really have to hope you're okay with that professor okay bye bernadetta <sighs> i'm nervous about that mock battle you don't have to compete Ooh, well, never mind. The great tree moon is the best time of the year for naps. I could just forget all about my assignment. Now I'm feeling sleepy too. Yeah. You just keep yawning. Everyone's yawning. Stop. Stop Let's yawning. See. I'm a little busy. Oh, sorry. If you're looking for the greenhouse, it's right there. See it? Looks like a greenhouse. That's it. That's why no one likes you. Some more seeds. 
Guardianing. Oh. I had other things, but I guess I can't do that. Oh, I can do all this stuff too, but I'm not. I'm just gonna do this. Okay. My thanks. It gave me a lot. Oh, did you come to look at the plants too? The greenhouse here is really incredible. Mm -hmm. There are so many rare flowers I'd never seen back home, and herbs I never even knew existed. You seem well informed. My adoptive father is the real expert. He taught me everything I know about herbs, including how to tell them apart and how to make medicines. You should try looking around the greenhouse sometime if the mood strikes you. Maybe something will catch your eye. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> hey, someone copied me. Someone said maybe too. Uh, hmm. I love this time of year. It's a good time of year. Oh, I can't do that yet. Protect us. <sighs> All right, Maria. Unbelievable. Wish I had a crest. That's so. The dining hall. Man, I wish I had. And like, when you see this kind of stuff in, in, the, in an anime too, it just makes school seem so cool. But it can, it's furthest from the truth. I've never seen a school that could be that cool. Where it's like, you have dining halls, courtyards, you know, all these different levels to a school building. And they're all so cool and... The teachers are so interesting, and the subject material, and the and the student body. You know, like so many smart geniuses. There's 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 so many cliques. It's, it's all fun and awesome. You know, sports festivals. You just you just can't get that. Professor, I hope you know I am having great abilities for reading and writing. With sadness, I still have struggles with speaking. If my ways of speak, uh, uh, of speech, are causing a burden, I hope you will have forgiveness. Yo, the voice actress for Petra, shout out. That's so good. Like, she's captured the, the, the absolute frustration of uh, speaking a foreign language. I'm busy. Do you want something? Okay. I can't right now, but let's fight soon. I look forward to beating. Mm-hmm. I mean, now that I think about it, do I have enough swordsmen on my team? Because the way I see it is that I'll be making Petra a flying unit. And if that's the case, I have no sword. I might recruit Felix after all for a sword. Ugh, I really need to eat. I can't hold out until the next meal. Why can't the dining hall stay open all the time? I need to keep eating if I want to get stronger. <laughs> Hello there, Professor. Well, I call you that. But I am afraid I am not a student here myself. That's a shame. Should the opportunity arise, I would love to become a student and begin my studies in earnest. The monastery is kind enough to provide a sanctuary for my brother and I. He's the only family I have. Might you help me with a favor? We go fishing. Why not? Dorothea and Edelgard. Oh, I mean, sorry, Princess. Oh, I love this meal. How did you know? I think I like this, but it's been a while, so I'm not sure. We're definitely going to speed through this more often than not. I do know that some characters, when they dine together, they have a special thing that they say to each other. Nice. Thought that was pretty cool. On you. Uh, 
so let's see so we're good there we're gonna fish talk to them talk to them talk to them talk to them we don't really need to go upstairs at all but I'll probably do it to unlock it anyway so I can fast travel later the best mini game that's ever been created this is actually really good in terms of like it's actually pretty fun Nailed it. If you don't get perfect, it's a slap in the face. If you, if you ever see a woman, like if you ever see, well, a woman or a man, if you just see him sprint like this, you gotta run. Great. Or like, you, <laughs> like you, they are gonna chase whoever they're running after down. Like, look at this. Look at that, man. Oh my goodness. This is breaking all... Oh, what? That's breaking the NFL Combine for sure. Like, yes. look at this dad. Oh my goodness. Alright, that's enough of that. I'm getting a little loopy. You Been up for too long. So much. Gotta focus. Alright. Oh, the gatekeeper. Right. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. By the by, have you ever regretted a decision and wished you could go back and undo it? It's too bad there's no lesson for how to turn back the old clock, huh? But I suppose a bad decision isn't worth all that fuss anyhow. Are you just breaking the fourth wall? What's wrong with you, dude? You want to talk about it? Who, who planted you here? How much do you know? question for you if that's all right you haven't seen a man with hair the same color as oh, mine, daddy issues telling face and a generally gloomy demeanor have you daddy issues well yes it's a bit difficult to explain i keep Please doing the same do thing him, i'm so okay? sorry i keep hitting the same thing All right. Um, what the heck? Oh, this Indeed. person. I don't care about you. Uh. Yes. Goddess smiles upon us. Okay. Here's an idea. There are two types of crests. You know what? Just out of curiosity. There are two types of crests. Oh yeah, major, major minor. It is set okay. of course. Yep, exactly. yep, yep. Major, minor crest. Major crests are more powerful. Minor is not as powerful and more, I guess you could say, infrequent. All of the kids here have minor crests. And they have to work hard to maybe make it a major crest one day. Hi, Professor. Have you gotten around to visiting the library yet? It's absolutely loaded with valuable information. Nerd. I only wish I wasn't burdened with the necessity of sleep so I could spend all my hours there. What? In a manner, yes. But it's more Are that you I okay? want to learn as much <laughs> as I possibly can. That girl is having some problems Hello. walking into a wall. <laughs> well. I'm pretty sure... So this already gets, like... Do bear in mind that even as you are appraising your students, they are appraising you as well. I hope that you will do your best to form lasting bonds with your flock. Oh, and I look forward to witnessing your prowess in the mock battle. Okay. Church has changed a lot since my time. Yeah, 20 Seven, years will do that for you. Manuela, Yuritsa, and many of the knights. None of them were around 20 years ago. 20 years is a long time, dude. He's never in here. It's a cool office, but he's never in here. What a shame. I think. 
Captain Gerald has hardly changed since 20 years ago. I've aged at least three times as much as he has. Why am I talking about this? <laughs> oh, right. It was because I just overheard Tomas remarking on the subject. Why am I talking the about this? The leader of a legendary group of knights returned. People are bound to be talking about the old captain. A mock battle? This early? Well, Professor, they're not giving you any time to settle in, are they? Well, no need to worry. If you get hurt, I am more than capable of healing you. You'll not even have a scar. Hmm. All right, Manuela. Fair enough. Apparently, there is to be a mock battle between the houses. Interesting, but I hope you understand that I have far more important things on my mind. My research is proceeding slower than I would like. Your crest is something of a challenge. <laughs> Frustrating. Yet also quite intriguing. I was wondering if I might get a sample of your flesh. A couple square inches would do. Uh. No. Perhaps some blood. A couple of drops on the device are all I need. Why are you so scary? Like you could have been such an important character, but they made you kind of a creep, man. Some kind of experimental apparatus. I might as well assist by providing a blood sample. Oh, thank you, Professor. Those yeah. few drops of blood are invaluable to my research. Oh, so much more to learn. Jakes. <laughs> well, why did they make him so like that? Um, gotta go into here. I think just to, just so I could fast travel later. Or maybe just did the whole thing anyway. I don't know. Yeah, okay. I think I didn't have to do all this. It is what it is. Professor. I hear you are lacking in knowledge of the Church of Seros. The library contains countless documents about the teaching and the history of the church. I encourage you to make good use of them. Check the bull shelves. All right. Let me see. I thought, I, wait, what? I talked to him. Oh. I just talked to you, fam. Okay. Uh, I think I'm done. I can't fast travel, right? Okay, yeah, let's go back. <laughs> let's, let's, let's go back for a sec. Okay. Let's figure this out. Here's an idea. Hello. Did not need to do all that. No. There we go. Spoiler alert, this is the sauna. Hey there. It was DLC. Kind of lackluster, in my opinion. Let's go back in here. Let's bring Felix after all. Ferdinand's birthday. Much appreciated. I have no money. <laughs> I am broke. I am broketh. Rivalry of the heroes. Formerly a promising young Merc, you are now the newest professor at the prestigious Officers Academy. Students and faculty alike look on with curiosity as you engage in a mock battle between the school's three houses. Let's do it. All right, I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna contain myself to like five, five save slots. I don't need to do that, but whatever. Revelry of the houses. You know what? I'm gonna do just three safe slots. Why it's not? finally time for the mock battle. This is my chance to measure your worth as an instructor. Do you think you can rise to the challenge? Leave it to me. 
So confident. This will be interesting. So Each that's the type you like. Confident. Team. We're prepared for anything that comes our way. That means there's no need to hold back. Show us what you're capable of. Hey there. Did we miss our invite to this strategy meeting? No, no worries. We'll just join in now. Simply tell me your weaknesses and you're welcome to stay. But is there enough time to cover them all? Savage. Ah, so you can't win unless you know my weakness. Poor princess. You really should believe in yourself more. I spare no effort when pursuing victory. As a master of schemes, I should think you would understand. Schemes? Me? I have no idea what you're talking about. I plan to fight fair and square as ever. Hearing the words fair and square from Claude can only be a bad omen. Shut up, Dimitri. Your highnesses haven't known me for very long, but you already have me figured out, don't you? No need to poke fun. I will fight with honor. That said, I will fight to win. Yes, and the same is true of us. Right, Professor? I don't intend to lose. If that is how you feel, then I will not hold back. Oh, how precious. Looks like you and the students have become fast friends. While I am pleased that you are taking the initiative to acquaint yourself with the students, I'm afraid it's about time for the faculty strategy meeting. Ah, how time flies. In that case, I'll see you later. Edelgard, Professor, be careful out there. I will say this, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. We're fine. All right, so it's gotta be me and AV, or Princess. Uh, Ferdinand has to, I'm about to say, like, he doesn't have to be there, but that's fine. Linhart does not need to be here. Uh, let me see, yeah, Hubert, me. I wanna bring, so, hmm. There we go. Let's see. Lynn Harkin have who, who, I guess me, honestly. Petrez can be Edelgard. Bernadetta has no chance of XP, which is a shame, but we'll fix that because New Game Plus gives me a lot of time to grind on the, uh, what's it called, on like all those battle maps, so we'll be fine, we will be just fine. Alright, so I wanna, this is fine. Thunder, Miasma, she has her sword, sword, cool, Lance, Axe, Axe, and sword, cool, 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 and now my abilities, sword is cool, unequip that, bring that in, there we go, because I think I can use my magic if I want to, that's actually, I didn't think about that, I can use my magic I think. The mock battle is finally here. Will you lead us to victory? I'm sure you already understand, but the house that defeats the other two is declared the winner. Incidentally, I'll be overseeing this mock battle, so listen well if you want to win. So this is practice. Units who are defeated will not be lost. Can I use my... Stay focused. Oh my god. We're gonna be killing people. Go ahead and do that. I will prevail. As you wish. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Mm, the bow. That's my cue.
None of your shallow tactics are required, Claw. <laughs> it knots and I will dismantle the opposition. Me? But I'm not ready. Oh, but they have good resistance, so it won't matter. Maybe I should have just stuck. Professor? I'm stupid. If you drop your guard, you're gonna get hurt. Ash, can you move to the front lines? I want to lure the enemy this way. Got it, your highness. Leave it to me. Once you finish preparing, make your move. Did you? Mercedes? Keep our enemy occupied until then. I'm on it. Oh my. We'll try our best. So I probably should have just not aggroed both of them, but I did anyway. Oh, if she crits. Uh, that would have been crazy if she critted. Yeah, that was terrible. Should have kept the sword. Alright. Live and learn. Yeah, I live and learn sometimes. Um Okay, so I don't so I want everyone to level up essentially in the perfect world. I want everyone to level up Hubert is a sponge did he do a bow wait That's cool. He did a bow um, Okay, he has a lot of magic He can do a killing shot honestly Let's see who can all right, so he weakens to a nine. To an eight. So if I have... Oh, that's not enough. Dang. That's... Yeah, that's, that's not enough. Oh, yeah. Um... I gotta take the bows out right away. Oh, I guess you can double. No, I just said it. Double it won't matter. Because that would be a 10. Yeah, he has too much. If I had a sword equipped, it would have been fine. I'm so mad. Predictable. I can't believe he hit me, by the way. I was in the. He hit me the first time. That's wild. There's no way you should have been able to- What? This is obnoxious. Alright, well, let's finish you off. Uh, so strong. Have to do better next time. This was beneath me. Let's see. Um. Oh yeah, I'm stupid. But I don't think Edelgard's gonna be able to help up here. She could crit. My magic user is about to be done soon. I've lost? Oh, <laughs> unthinkable. How humiliating. Who are you? Yeah, he doesn't really know who he's going to go for. Oh, he can still attack. Well done, Teach. I may have to take this seriously after all. Yeah, I thought he was gonna go. Ooh. I didn't I did not appreciate that at all. Oh he's gonna attack me. I'm an idiot. I attack from one range. I've 
lost. The new professor is quite a commander. The mark of nobility. Oh wow, he's like he just got to level two. Good. The noble standard. The noble standard. That's good. Okay. I shouldn't strain myself. You're you're yeah. It's, it's okay. We got this. Oh. Sweet of you. I need to. It seems I've exhausted this topic. Nice. Okay, let me go change up some things. Turn that off fast. Um, I think everything else is fine. Yeah, we're fine now. Let's use the forest to set up an ambush. I'm counting on your support, everyone. If they're waiting in the forest, we do well to take a detour. Oh yeah, she'll heal me. Um, I don't know. Do we need to go here first? We could just sweep around. Sweeping around. Yeah, we'll just do that. We'll just sweep around. That's my cue. Get some cheese level ups that way. Nice. We must all do our part. Ooh. That's not bad at all. Okay, so he only has, so he has three uses. She has one. So we gotta be careful about that. Let's creep around some more. Cause once she's, a, so once she doesn't have a use anymore, we gotta then sweep around. Well, we're surrounded. All we can do is fight back with all our might. Well. Creep our way. I hate that they stay there. Yeah, if I'm, okay, so if anything, get the magic users to snipe and then we go through the rest of the way. Um, I can just bring Hilda. Four defense, seven. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. Six defense. Seven defense. I'll do this as well. Okay. Yeah. That was nothing. Perfect. Okay, brought them both out. Cool. Alright, so we're gonna snipe. Oh, we can't even. I want it snipe claw to be fair. I need to heal Hubert. Oh wow, he wants to do some damage. 
Wow, Manuel's gonna come on. Ooh, baby. Ouch! Was that really necessary? <laughs> this is definitely classic hard. Your defeat was inevitable. Not good. That won't do it all. I mean, it's speed, but not good. Okay, yeah, he still wants to go for the kill. Dang, if I do that, though, I can't attack him again. Down to a 17. That would kill. Oh, I don't want to do that. Do I? What's... <laughs> Just like... Okay. Uh, I'll heal. Unexpected. He's still gonna go. Yo, that's a that's a kill. Yeah, I'm stupid. I don't know what I'm looking at. I don't like that. Did I, okay, did I at least block him? I didn't block him. Ah, uh, bye, Hubert. Oh. oh, he missed. This is harder than expected. Oh man. Yo, I was I was oh man. I was clinching up. I was clinching up for that one. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. Alright, so now Dorothea can't attack. So she's kinda useless at this point. Yeah, she's I mean I could Sure, why not? Okay, so that'll kill. Um, you know what? Oh, I should have let Edelgard take it for like the, her their little banter. I messed up. Always getting stronger. Oh, I hate losing. I guess I'll just have to settle for cheering the others on. I should have waited. Still unstoppable. <laughs> I don't know about that, Chief. Look, look a little beaten to me. Uh, how is her res? It's a six. Let me see what her res is. Um, yeah, so the res is a six. A ten, so I'll get four damage from it. I'll take four. That's fine. That's his rest. Seven. So he so he'll take three. Acknowledged. Oh, it's four damage, not five. Or whatever I was saying. Uh, the pair attacks a ten. Okay, no, it, it was four. I, I don't know if I said four. Oh boy, I'm I'm tired. <laughs> uh, okay, so chip damage, that kills. Her resistance is a. F Why is her resistance so low? A five. As you wish. I can actually do some damage. Yeah, I can do thirteen on her. That's sad, but I need to keep his one. I need to keep his one use for Daydu, because Daydu is going to crumble. Why is her defense so strong? He has a 15 attack. Six, okay. What the heck? Okay, can I at least weaken? Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Put her over here. Oh, you missed. Okay. 
then I'll be over here. I should have moved that, whatever. <laughs> Ferdinand, why are you so bad? Ferdinand, you can't get the kill? Yeah, she's gonna wanna attack you. Just hang back, dude. Embarrassing. That's a shame. What can he do with the sword? Ooh! Oh, that's gonna get it right back. I'm an idiot. I'm still one away. What am I even doing anymore? Is she out of it? That's funny. Now we can just whittle her. Oh, that's fun. Oh, no. She'll just pop a vulnerary. Wait, we want those vulnerary. She's about to use that. No, 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 no. Oh, yes. Okay, wait, wait. Oh, I was so scared. I was like, I can't attack her. Oh, my God. I was so scared. <laughs> I nearly wound up a patient in my own infirmary. As expected. So, you've made it past Manuela, eh? I see now I must focus and then make my move. I'm so mad. I didn't want to take the kill. Beautiful work, Professor. <clears throat> but the true challenge starts now. They move right away. They don't give me any time to rest. All right, Hubert, take him out. That next, uh, hmm. Not too bad. Um, yeah, she's just had the oh. Uh, you know what? We're fine. Charge again. Alright, you guys are dead now. Oh, I should have put her in the middle so that everyone could heal. Whoops. Uh, yeah. So you're dead. Let me see. Set this up correctly, but I will at least do this. Mm hmm. Okay, so I gotta go over there. So we'll lose down to a 10, and Ferdinand has a 9. Ferdinand, you gotta do more than that, buddy. She's Edelgard's definitely gonna crit. Absolutely, she'll crit. How is her defense that high? Or at least Ferdinand's is that low. Crit. Didn't crit. Oh, but that was, she her crest popped, so I've mastered this art. That would have been scary. Oh no. This is as far as I can go. 
I'm sorry, Mercedes. Only a fool challenges me. So three threes, twos, and a one. Dorothy was not leveling up like I wanted to. He's gonna get crushed, so we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna kill you right there. Apologies, Your Highness. I can go no further. Each battle, a chance to grow. Such power dwells within? I mean, I guess it'll help for crit chance, maybe? Oh, you. You messed up. Alright, these two are useless. Hate to see it. Um, Ferdinand. Can't get into the trees. Dang, man. Savage. Um. Let's go ahead and do this. You're a tough opponent, but I refuse to yield. Do not fool yourself into believing I will hold back. Dang. He didn't. Oh, he didn't attack. I think I'm improving. All right, Linhart. Dang. Savage. Um, uh, I'm gonna just put. Hold up. So he's gonna attack that way. Attack that way. So yeah, I'll put uh, him here. Go right there. Edelgard's gonna go first. Dimitri, it's time. We can finally settle the question of who's stronger. Very well. I accept your challenge. With you as my opponent, I won't hold anything back. I would expect no less. <laughs> He got the kill. The noble standard. My training was insufficient. I am so sorry, everyone. The rest is up to you. I don't know about Linhart. I don't know about him, Chief. Don't know if he's good enough, Chief. This does make perfect. Nice. Her res is a seven, so she could take it, but what's the point? All right, let's bring him way down here. You're kidding me. He does 11 damage. That's savage. Ouch. Mm hmm. Mad ugly, but I'm doing it anyway. My goodness, the leadership of someone with actual battle experience is well, 
I was as good as useless. I've got many skills, you know. <sighs> Not quite what I was after. No. No. All right. That's that. The winner of this mock battle is... The Black Eagle House. Even though it was just a mock battle, we defeated both houses masterfully. Take pride in this victory, everyone. Nice. Yo, what's up? How's it going? Dave, how are you MVP? Hold on a second. How are you MVP, man? I don't, I don't appreciate that being MVP. Are you kidding me? <sighs> That's savage. I'm doing good. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. This is my first time playing Fire Emblem Black Eagles route. Excellent work today, Professor. Though our victory should come as no surprise. Yeah, it's New Game Plus. Yeah, I've played Golden Deer and Blue Lion, so now I'm playing Black Eagles. And I haven't played it for I haven't played it yet, so playing it for the first time. But I was actually wrapping up tonight cuz I've been going for a little bit, but I'll be playing I'll probably be playing this this weekend on like Saturday. So there's that if you ever think about stopping by again. Ha, it was easy. Yes, it was. Further proof that you're well qualified to guide the Black Eagles. That was Yo, impressive, they... Professor. I mean, uh, impressive. They formed we up. We gained a victory because of your great leadership. We certainly did. We all tried our best, of course, but we couldn't have won without you. You like the first, uh, you like Blue Line because it was your first one? That's cool. I like Golden Deer. Same because of like, that was my first house I chose. Golden Deer is pretty cool. This this story on, on Golden Deer is kind of uh, middle of the road, but I think that was pretty cool for like kind of introducing me to the the game. And uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. It was chill. I like Golden Deer's because it was just really chill. I was curious what it would look like if you did not hold back, and you did not disappoint. <laughs> I dare say we owe our victory to Lady Edelgard. You got mad in Golden How Deer. So? For that battle, she was only a soldier following our professor's command. Sure, she was an incredibly powerful soldier. Don't worry about it too much, Linhart. All that matters is that we won. I'm all done with being on the battlefield, okay? I'd rather stay back than pursue victory out there. You were all as ridiculous as always. We only managed to win because we worked together. Was it something I said? Is it so odd, me talking about togetherness? If so, that perception must change. In fact, I'm canceling the festivities so we can discuss this topic further. I'm kidding, of course. Come on, everyone. We've earned this celebration. Why did Golden Deer make you mad? I mean, was it Hilda? Was Your Hilda mad? The students was remarkable. I can see Geralt trained you well. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I do hope you were able to use the occasion to bond with the students. I'm so happy to hear it. Nothing would please me more than if you used this coming year to grow closer still. Of course, the mock battle was mere practice. The real fight is the battle of the eagle and lion, which will take place during the wyvern moon. You are expected to properly train your students so as not to humiliate the academy during the long-held tradition that is the coming battle. As for today, I have called you here to tell you of your mission for the month ahead. Your class is to dispose of some bandits causing trouble nearby. Bandits? Bandits? Those affiliated with Garrig Mach Monastery have a moral obligation to help those in need, regardless of social standing. Students are no exception. Each month before the newly birthed moon departs, each house of students must complete their assigned mission. You shall work to complete the task at hand alongside your students and report back to the Archbishop before the deadline. Understood. <laughs> I will soon provide you with the necessary details for your first mission. 
If I told you now, I expect you would only forget, and I despise repeating myself. You were rude to Rhea. How dare you? Rhea is a sweetheart. <laughs> you know, this is the thing about Fire Emblem, though. When it comes to, like, the Rhea trope, like, because, like, you know, like, her type was, like, what, Amarin back in Awakening, and then you had the Mother and Fates. It's like, they don't give them any sort of plot like development or character like it's kind of just like i'm the motherly type and that's it so i don't know i wasn't rude to Rhea, but like i was also like kind of bored because i'm like okay what are you actually saying i can sense something special within your heart i have high hopes for you i mean there's something that happens just like how Thank something happened with you know every character but Rhea's kind of, yeah. Do you recall when we first met? You shall not fall so shamelessly again, correct? Have you no words for me? Do not tell me that you are shocked to hear from me. At least you're not sleepy this time. <laughs> you ought to know that I am always with you now. To hear my voice should not come as a shock. <laughs> the way you live. Nonsense. All I was told was to kill as many noble pipsqueaks as possible. Oh, Costas. No one said anything about the Knights of Damned Saros being on our trail. You have proven yourself worthless, distracted by something so trivial. Mm. I had hoped you would achieve your goal despite the setback. But now a child of the Knight's former captain is in play. How interesting. Hey, this isn't what I agreed to. Hiring a mercenary as a professor. What was that woman thinking? Are you listening to me? How do we finish this? You die. Whoops. What? Couldn't be me, Chief. Underestimating the Knights was an amateur mistake. One you will pay for. The road to eternal torment awaits you all. Now I must locate your replacements. He has left the Damn chat. You. He has left the chat. Man, Costas is into some, uh, some, some bad luck. Can't catch a break. Part one. White clouds. Harpstring moon. Familiar scenery. In honor of the saints whose births or deaths took place under this moon, the people perform music once beloved by those divine beings. Whether by harp, by flute, or voice alone, joyous melodies are shared between farmers as they sow their seeds across the vast plains of Teltin and Grander. Have you played any other Fire Emblem games? Or has it just been three houses for you? 5K broke the game. As you have already been notified, your mission is to subdue some bandits. Our students have been learning about combat through study. But this is a precious opportunity to provide them with practical experience. The Knights will support your mission and are prepared to offer their assistance if necessary. In short, this is no mock battle. You must be prepared for anything. You will receive a message from the Knights when it is time to depart. Until then, use your time wisely. The last time we fought bandits, you saved me. Maybe I can return the favor this time. Let's do our best. The Knights are well aware of our enemy's strength. We can count on them to keep the battlefield under control for us. It seems unlikely that we would lose. Still, 
Let's do all we can to prepare. You seem well. Are you adjusting to life at the monastery? Not quite. Just well, to make him feel good. I didn't expect it would be easy on you. When we were mercenaries, I handled everything. Outside of battle, you didn't have much contact with people, did you? I thought and being thrown into a swarm of noble brats to teach would be a bit much for you. So then why did you just let it happen? You just let it happen. What was that about? It seems I was right to worry. By the way, I heard about those bandits. Your first assignment is to take them out, right? Oh, snap. You played a lot of Fire Emblem games. <laughs> oh, snap. That's cool. That's cool. That's awesome. Yeah, I've, I've played starting from Awakening and then up. So I played the recent ones. I didn't go back and play the older ones. It'd be cool if they get a remade, though. I mean, I think that's what everyone's like begging intelligent systems to do is just to remake the older game. So I think that's what I think that's what they're going to try and probably start doing next. You know, Three Houses was such a success. I think they're going to try and do, OK, let's do another remake of an older game and that that'll be fun I'm definitely gonna be playing that <laughs> clock crit at 2% couldn't be me man that's savage that's fairly routine for you by now but don't forget it's the first real taste of battle for those brats it'll be tougher to sleep at night if you let one of your little pupils die so stay vigilant and lead them well I wish I could offer you my support but Lady Rhea won't allow it for now, I'll try to figure out what she wants from you. I don't mind you settling into your life here, but don't let your guard down, ever. It sounds like Lysithia wants to join my house. Absolutely. Come on down. Yes? Can I help you? You came to me. I bet you've come to invite me to your class. What with my stupendous grades and all. I mean, I you... would actually enjoy being in your class. Quite a lot. This was a successful interaction, I must say. Please provide me with all the most challenging assignments. I want to be well equipped for the future. Alright then. Sweet. That's funny. Annette. No. Allies, you can take beginner exams. Alright. So, yep. Like I said, this was it. Uh, be going on for a while. Almost three hours. That's pretty good. But, uh, yeah, this is a late night stream for me anyway. But, it was cool talking with you. Like I said, I'm probably going to stream again Saturday. But, yeah. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Glad that you like Fire Emblem a lot. If you ever want to stop by, talk Fire Emblem. I'll be playing this game for a while. I mean, it's 100 hours, so I'll definitely be streaming this game for a while. So it will be fun. Fun times. You can see me make dumb mistakes, probably, because I just like having fun with it. But yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's all it is. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Hope everyone has a good day. And uh, just take it easy. And thanks for the follow. Thank you. See you later. Maybe um, I'll do like Q&As and stuff when I'm not so tired. I'm actually tired. But yeah. It'll be fun. Peace out.